Debra. Air Evolution here. So today's video is going to be about the IW leaks and things that are in, and also about World War II leaks of the divisions. So let's start with Infinite Warfare. Oh, Alright, so first off, they added in the 15-pack supply drop in the Quartermaster update. Now, if you guys remember correctly, the last time I did the 15-pack shortly after was where we had new guns and new camouflages. And I'm going to say we're also getting new camouflages based on our Reddit post. If you guys want to check it out, you can. I'm not going to leave the description down below or the link or anything. But, you know, you guys can see it for yourself. And I do believe they're coming out very shortly because I think there is special 4th of July ones with fireworks and everything else, which actually look relatively cool. Um, the other thing is they added in uh, trade medals, kill trade medals. Now, if you remember correctly, they've already been in the game since the past two updates. <clears throat> the only difference was that you were only able to get them through custom games but now since it went live on friday i guess you can receive them in every game mode which is uh good and bad i mean it's good i guess if you're getting nuked on uh, and the guy's one kill away and your kill registers first but it's also bad if you are trying to drop a nuke and his kill registers first like instead that. of yours like you know so that's pretty much it with uh infinite warfare there wasn't really too much else added in there um you know but Hopefully we can expect new stuff either Tuesday or Friday, but I'm going to definitely go with this stuff coming, this Tuesday coming up because it, it seems like that's what's going to happen because of the 15 pack there. But if it's not, then we can definitely expect new guns on Friday. Let's get straight into the World War II information. Okay, so let's get straight into the World War II leaks. Alright, so as everybody knows, first off, there's not going to be creative class anymore. Yeah, it's going to be replaced by divisions. Uh, players will be players will join one of five iconic okay, World War II divisions, each with their own unique weapons and abilities. And the five new divisions yeah. are airborne, first of the fight, where you move fast and stay quiet. Mountain, focusing on precise and deadly sharpshooting. Infantry, be the tip of the spear, armored. Bring in the heaviest firepower and expeditionary force. It says pack in with incinerary shells. Okay, so this is what it tells me. All right, I'm going to just say the ones that we already know. Uh, so the infantry, we already know, you know, if you saw the emblem, you know, put out the patch, it, it really honestly looks like an M1 assault rifle class. You know, you're the first one in the fight. Um, so we know that one. We know Mountain is based on a sniper class, you know, because you saw the patch it. And those sound effects are, you know, a guy looking through a reticle and holding the breath and the shot firing. And we also are aware that Armored is tanks. Now, here's the thing. You know, we talk about how each class has their own unique weapon and abilities. Well, what if their special weapon was something like for armored, let's say it was like, you know, hey, you know, you have uh, an LMG and your ability is that, you know, you're able to use a tank. And then let's say for something like, <clears throat> oh, I don't know, uh, expeditionary force, you know, let's say that maybe they're, the guns they use are shotguns and rocket launchers and the special ability could be something like, you know, uh, being able to use a flamethrower or something like that, you know? So, I mean, there's a lot of mix-up in here and a lot of things we don't know yet about it. But this is all based on speculation. Now, do I think it's a bad thing if they remove out your class? I don't think it's a bad thing at all, to be honest with you, because, you know, honestly, it wouldn't be a new Call of Duty game unless they put their own twist on it, you know? I'm not saying it's broken, I'm not saying anything like that, but I am saying like, hey, you know, if they're going to try something new, there we go. let's see how it works out. What's the worst? It doesn't work out? Okay, great. Well, then, you know what? I guess I guess they're never going to have the option to work on Call of Duty games again if it's a total fail. It, everything does look really good in the game. It looks like really smooth graphics. I mean, I'm kind of excited to see where this all goes. I mean, we know tanks are coming back. It's going back to the roots. And I know some of you guys don't like tanks. I know some of you guys don't really care if tanks are back in the game. I think it's a kind of a cool idea, you know, because it is going back to boots on the ground. We've been flying around with jetpacks for like the past two games, wall running like crazy, 
you know, shooting robots and cyborgs and monsters, whatever the hell we can think of. You know, that's what the Call of Duty games have been. So for it to change back to going on to boots on the ground, going back to World War II, you know, I mean, I'm not too mad that they're bringing in tanks. And I'm also not mad that, you know, they're taking away create a class. Because, you know, if they can create something that's easier for everybody to understand and grab so everybody has an equal chance, because that's only what I'm going to guess it is, you know, hey, I don't look at it like a bad thing. I look at it actually like it's a good thing and, you know, possibly this could actually save Call of Duty. But like I said, we're not going to know... You know, until we actually see the gameplay, uh, hopefully, you know, Monday, if not Monday, Tuesday. You know, so I'll make sure I keep you guys posted as the patches come out, too. Um, so that way, you know, we're all on the same page and, you know, we can all en enjoy this experience together. So, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay. I'm going to give you guys a little bit to think about with the Call of Duty. <clears throat> and like always, you guys, smash that like button. Stay subscribed. Share this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.